let's begin the next question so what is my next question if x is equal to a cos cube theta and y is equal to a sin cube theta then among these relations what will be the resultant so let's check x is equal to a cos cube theta if i am transferring a to this side multiplication will become division right x by a is equal to cos cube theta correct this is my first equation similarly also they have given y is equal to a sin cube theta so y by a is equal to sin cube theta correct y by a is equal to sin cube theta so let's check each and every option together okay so x by a and y by a so in the options if you could have observed let's check with first option right so let me consider x by a let this be equation number 1 and let this be equation number 2 x by a whole power of 2 by 3 let me consider okay on the powers take 2 by 3 on both the powers what i am going to get cos cube theta whole power 2 by 3 okay so x by a whole power 2 by 3 is equal to cancel 3 and 3 on both sides you will be left over with cos square theta let me keep this as usual similarly what i am going to do take consider y by a whole power 2 by 3 so what i am going to get sin cube theta whole power 2 by 3 cancel 3 and 3 here also so you will be left over with sin square theta so if you could have observed the first step right so let this be first and second equations add both together so on the left side you have x by a whole power of 2 by 3 plus y by b y by a again whole power of 2 by 3 is equal to what if you are adding these both this particular value is equal to cos square theta plus sin square theta am i correct in just an am i cut step on both sides i have taken as per options i have taken x by a whole power of 2 by 3 first option on a king can be seen the 2 by 3 this is just like option verification right so both sides are 2 by 3 in this kunte nakus cube cut type of thing right so first if you have these type of things what is the main step what is the main shortcut i will advise to do is just cancel make a fraction form nunchi integer form lo convert i to choose kondi whole number laga right so x by a whole power 2 by 3 y by a whole power 2 by 3 is equal to cos square theta plus sin square theta so what is the value and this is the identity so we have left over with x by a whole power of 2 by 3 plus y by b whole power of 2 by 3 is equal to and this is 1 as per identity cos square theta plus sin square theta value is 1 so x power 2 by 3 just split this a power a by b whole power of m is a power of m by b power of m right so next you have y power of 2 by 3 by a power of 2 by 3 is equal to 1 take a power 2 by 3 as common so you will be left over with x power 2 by 3 plus y power 2 by 3 transform a power 2 by 3 through that side i need the value of this only right x power 2 by 3 plus y power 2 by 3 is equal to a power 2 by 3 so that means option this is correct understood just look into this problem first what i have done i transform a to this side and in order to remove and making a powers whole I just multiply 2 by 3 on both the equations and I have added together cos square theta plus sin square theta value is 1, right? So, 1 chindi a power of m by b power of m taking LCM, transposing a power of 2 by 3 to that side and I got the option number 1. Please look into that problem. Make it faster. Is it done? Is it done? Can I get back to next one? yes very good guys so we will be moving to the next question so what is my next question it is also similar problem like a previous one let's get back x is equal to a secant to the power of n theta y is equal to b tan to the power of n theta 
So in that place, then you need to find x by a whole power of 2 by n minus y by b whole power of 2 by n. So observe this problem with the previous questions once. It is like this problem only, right? x by a 2 by n in the place of n you have 3 in this particular problem. But here we are doing addition but in the next question we are doing subtraction. So let's solve this problem. It is like a similar problem only. Right. So first step what I am going to do is consider x is equal to a secant to the power of n theta. So I am just transposing a to this side. So what I am going to get x by a is equal to secant power n theta. So we got x by a value is secant power n theta. So in the last problem what we have done? I have multiplied with 2 by 3 on both sides. But in the place of this 3, I need to take n of this problem. So multiply on the power with 2 by n. What I am going to get? Uh, secant power n and this is need to be multiplied with 2 by n. So x by a whole power 2 by n n n will get cancelled you will be left over with secant square theta secant square theta please observe this problem clearly similarly take the next question next expression y is equal to b tan power n theta what is the first step i have to do transposing b to this side what i am going to get uh, y divided by b multiplying will become uh, division y by b is equal to tan power n theta tan power n theta what, with what you need to multiply on the power with y by b whole power 2 by n you have to multiply with this right so tan power n theta and this also need to be multiplied with 2 by n cancelling n on both sides what you will have y by b whole power 2 by n is equal to tan square theta. So let this be equation 1 and let this be equation 2. Right. Equation 1 and equation 2. What you are going to get? Just uh, they were asking you x by a whole power of 2 by n minus y by b whole power of 2 by n. Subtract both equations. What I am going to get? x by a whole power of 2 by n minus y by b whole power of 2 by n which is equal to secant square theta this value is secant square theta minus and this value is tan square theta what is the value of secant square theta minus tan square theta it's an identity right x by a plus y by b whole power 2 by n this particular secant square theta minus tan square theta value is equals to it's equals to 1 Am I clear with the question? So this is my question. See how I have done? How we, I have taken answer is 1. This is a trigonometric identity. We have two, we have three trigonometric identities, right? Already I have explained you. First one is sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. Second one is secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. And the third one is cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equals to 1. So this is the from that identity, I, I wrote the answer 1. Yes, it is very clear, right? Have a glance of this question. Make it fast. So that we will be moving to next question. Is it done? So we will get back to next question. So what is my next question? If A is equal to secant theta plus y tan theta, right? and b is equal to tan theta x tan theta plus y secant theta then what is the value of x square minus y square x square minus y square value he was asking you in the question so yeah so the first equation let me multiply the first equation with the secant theta and the second equation with the tan theta okay let me multiply the first equation with secant theta and second equation with tan theta why we should multiply we need to get in terms of a squares or b squares right right yes so multiply with the secant theta and tan theta let's check how the equation will get turnover to right 
a is equal to x secant theta first equation plus y tan theta this you need to multiply with secant theta this you need to multiply with secant theta okay similarly b is equal to what is the second equation we have x tan theta plus y secant theta this you need to multiply it with tan theta let's check how the questions is going to get okay so what i am going to get now if you are multiplying with secant theta with complete equation this will become a secant theta is equals to x secant theta into secant theta is secant square theta plus y tan theta into secant theta correct yes or no so next equation is becoming b tan theta is equal to x tan square theta x tan square theta plus y secant theta and tan theta let's subtract these both equations because we have an identity with respect to subtraction secant square theta minus tan square theta undi gaani plus tho ledhu maniki so for that reason i am subtracting these both equations what i am going to get a subtracting a secant theta minus b tan theta if you are subtracting these both values will become cancel so what you'll have take x is common you will be left over with x secant square theta minus tan square theta so what is the value of x here we got this is equal to 1 right it is an identity secant square theta minus tan square theta value is equal to 1 here because it's a trigonometric identity so x value here i got a secant theta minus b tan theta so i got the value of x successfully right right so now i need to find the value of y now y ela cancel avutundi so how i can get the value of y so let's check if secant theta and, and tan theta if you are multiplying these both equations you got x now the same equations if i take and multiply in different cases let me check see now again consider these both equations a is equal to x secant theta plus y tan theta multiply the whole equation with tan theta right now multiply with the tan right now let's check how this is going to become and second equation x tan theta plus y secant theta multiplied with secant i am just changing the trigonometric ratios 1 and 2 with 2 and 1 so let's check how the problem is going to get okay so yeah multiplying the whole equation with tan theta now a into tan theta which is equals to tan theta into x secant theta which is x secant theta tan theta simple this time x values will get change over right next y plus y into tan theta into tan theta is tan square theta correct next what you are going to do b secant theta is equal to x secant theta tan theta plus y secant square theta again subtract on both sides again subtract on both sides what you are going to do if you are doing subtraction minus 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 so x secant theta plus tan theta minus x secant theta plus tan theta will become cancel this term will become cancel so you will be left over with a tan theta minus b secant theta is equals to take y as common secant square theta minus tan square theta value is again equal to 1 right first you have this particular thing again it is equal to 1 right so just do this things what you are going to get so up to here everybody is clear please have a look on to it make it fast this should be secant square theta minus tan square theta this should be minus y right yeah 
minus common theal kadamma actually this should be if you are taking plus y as common minus y if you take common you will get secant square data minus tan square data yeah so these are the both options we got make it fast if it is clear we will be moving to the next of the problem make it fast so if a tan theta minus b secant theta is equal to minus y but I want the value of y here. Now, kawals in the NT value of y kawal minus y kawal. So, up in the equation ni minus the multiplication jes kundan. Up in the case b secant theta minus a tan theta. Right? b secant theta minus a tan theta. So, I got the values of x and y. Correct? So, what I am going to do here? So, here I am asking you to find the values of x square minus y square. So, what is the value of x square? Calculate here. Squaring on both sides. What is the value of x square? a square secant square theta plus b square tan square theta minus 2ab secant theta tan theta. Correct? Now, do the y square value. What is the y square I am getting? b square secant square theta next plus a square tan square theta right minus 2ab secant theta tan theta a minus b whole square and that is a minus b whole square right? Ikkada varku andaru clear unna rane anukundnanu. Can I get back to next one if you are clear with it? So we have to do x square minus y square. x square minus y square. a square secant square theta minus b square secant square theta. Take secant square theta as a common where I am writing here see. I am doing x square minus y square. Okay. So what I am going to get uh, secant square theta is common. You will have a square minus b square. Done. Next. Next, take b square tan square theta minus and this one a square tan square theta. Take ta, ta, tan square theta is a common. If you take tan square theta is a common, you will have b square minus a square. And minus and this is minus of minus, both terms will become cancel over. Both terms will become cancel over. Take a square minus b square as common, right? So, in the next step, what I am going to do? Take a square from that. x square minus y square is equals to, just see, it is a very good problem. x square minus y square. Take a square minus b square common from the above step, this step. Take a square minus b square common. What you are going to left over? Secant square theta. Here it is actually b square minus a square. Take minus common from this. So, what you will have? You will get tan square theta. So, secant square theta minus tan square value theta value will become 1. So, we will have a square minus b square which is option A. Which is option A. Understood? So, what I have tried this question? Uh, it is a very simple question. First, I multiplied with secant theta and tan theta for 1 and 2 equations. I got the value of x. Similarly, next I reversed secant and tan theta with 2 and 1 equations, I got the value of y. I did x square minus y square, uh, 2ab secant theta tan theta terms are got cancelled over. I left over with x square minus y square value is secant square theta a square minus b square tan square theta b square minus a square. I have taken common a square minus b square common here. Right, I left over with secant square theta minus tan square theta. The value is, it is one of the trigonometric identity and the value is equals to 1. So, we left over with a square minus b square. Done. So, just have a look on to this problem. Right. Yeah. So, if I hope everybody is clear with this question and this worksheet. Everybody is done with the trigonometry. So, I suggest you to do more number of questions for practice in order to have a good clarity right so with this we'll wind up the session of trigonometry in our next session so i just have a recall of all the chapters uh, contents of trigonometry what we have discussed so first 
I have discussed about measurements of types of angles in the trigonometry, which is regarding about centesimal, sexagesimal, and gradient systems. Right? It's radian systems. Just go through with that video once. And the second one I have explained to you about the trigonometric ratios uh, of particular angles. What are going to, what are going to become? What are the values of particular trigonometric ratio like sin 30, sin 0, sin 45, sin 60, sin 90. And in the next question, in the next concept we have discussed about complementary and supplementary angles. Right. Next we have discussed about allied angles. Next reciprocal relations. Next quad, uh, quotient relations, trigonometric identities. Next also we have discussed about signs of trigonometric ratios in different different quadrants. Right. So last but not least we have also discussed some problems how to eliminate constants in the given result. Right. So I hope you are thorough with the trigonometry part. I request all our videos which are there in my playlist. Go through the videos. It will be continuous. Thank you all. I hope you have enjoyed it. Bye.